In today's episode, I am continuing on in the primary bathroom. Now, I'm going to tackle the area behind me, which is the sink and the mirror area. I have some ideas I want to do to the mirror, so just stick around. Today's episode is sponsored by NBGRLVS. It is a powerful water dental floss pick. Now on this, I really like it because it's very powerful and it has four modes of flossing. Now I'm going to share with you the items that came in the package. Now the items are the flosser, It has two silicone tips, a orthodontics tip, one tongue cleaner, one toothbrush tip, a USB cable, and three classic jig tips. Now on the front you'll see the modes. They have a standard mode, a massage mode, a DIY mode, and a point control mode. At the top, you see, this is where you attach your brushes. And on the back, it has a USB port. Now, this cover covers it up. It's like a little silicone top. And there is your outlet for your USB port. Now, the other thing I like about it, it comes apart easily. Now, inside, it has a gravity ball pipe that helps the water come out. It also has two ways you can fit it. One, like I'm doing here, taking the top off. And the other way is an opening on the back that you can fill the water in that way. Now, the attachments are very easy to put in. They stick in and they turn. It's a 360 rotating nozzle. Now, it effectively solves eight oil problems, bleeding gums, dental plaque, orthodontist, food residue, sensitive teeth, bad breath, tooth decay, and teeth implants. So this thing really works well. And I know you will enjoy it because I'm enjoying it using it as well. Down below, I will include the link for this powerful dental floss. I want to thank NBGRLVS for sponsoring this portion of the video. Hello everyone, I'm Stephanie of Creatively Miss Me, decorating on a budget. Now, I don't like that mirror. It's the builder's mirror, you know, the big one. And I'm trying to do everything on a budget. So replacing it right now is not budget friendly. So also too, the sink area is a hot mess. So I'm going to let you see the mess. See the jungle of it all? Well, I want to put this some of this stuff back where it's supposed to be and clean this whole area off and do some work to that mirror because I want the mirror to have a certain look to it. So stick around and watch me get all of this fabulous. Now you might be asking yourself, Stephanie, why is there so much sitting in the middle of the sink? Well, there are no drawers in here. There's one drawer and there are no medicine cabinets in here. So therefore I try to keep our pill bottles in the drawer. I bought some strips that line the pill bottles in the drawer to make it easier for us to see the names on the bottles. So they are in the only drawer in this bathroom. So, and the linen closet, there is none in this bathroom. There is no linen closet in here. So I bought this little clear acrylic shelf off of Amazon to help store the things that we use here in the bathroom. You know, like toothpaste, deodorant, I have some cologne, some face scrubs, things like that. I try to keep on the tray. Now, this is a hot mess right now, yeah, because the past couple of weeks I've been dealing with a lot with my husband and his illness. Um, he was in the hospital, so things just kind of like piled up on me. 
So I'm trying to get this back in order. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to let you watch me get this back to fabulous. Now, you know when you get an idea in your head and then you find something similar? Now, I found some that I wanted on Timu, but it was going to take them forever and five days to get here. The pattern that I mean. And then I saw these on Timu, and I ordered them a while back for the bathroom upstairs. But then I decided I wanted to do the mirror downstairs in the primary bathroom. So I ordered a set from Amazon. Now mind you, the one from Amazon costs, I think, a dollar more, give or take, from the ones on Timu. But they had a, have an adhesive on the back where you peel it off and you place them around the mirror like in a border. Now mind you, I lined all these up to make sure I had the right count to go on the bottom row and the top row. And also I got my tape measure out to measure the sides to make sure I had enough to do the sides. But the catch is that when you put them on there, you're gonna have to alter one on the bottom, one at the top, and one on each side. So there, the corners are fit with a solid one. And then as I went along, I saw other things I needed to do. Mind you, when I counted all these out, I had maybe 10 or 11 extra ones. <laughs> I broke some. I had to pull some off the mirror because they were placed wrong. This, 
you get into this, this is not a notion. This is something that you're really going to have to take your time with to make sure everything lines up and to make sure that they all fit in the pattern that you want them to fit in. Now, I admit that this whooped the girl's butt. Now, this shot here you see, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, it's showing where I did start putting on the sides and on the tops because um, I had moved the camera and didn't realize that it was recording like this. <laughs> but it shows that I was working on this mirror, trying to get all these squares on here. And I must admit, when I did finish it, I loved the way it made the mirror look. It gave me an overall new appearance to my mirror and it made your girl happy that I did, even though it did kick my butt for a minute, but I got it done. Now this is how it looks and it still has that film over the top, it's a protective coat over the mirrors. So this is how it looked with the film on it. Now you see all the paper there on the sink. <laughs> I'm telling you, it had your girl going. But I did make it look gorgeous. And if you didn't know that I had to alter four of them, I don't know if you would notice maybe two of them you might but the others you won't so let's start putting this cam this bathroom back together at least the sink top i want to get it nice and neat so here we go it came out kind of cute now that all the film is off the mirror it it looks gorgeous the sink area is clean everything is in its spot the only thing is I didn't hang the towels up I need to get those out of the dryer but overall everything is in its place everything has a place 
And on my husband's side, I have his razors and all that good kind of stuff that he uses. And on mine, I normally keep my glasses on my little shelf. But I think overall, it came out really, really pretty. I'm thinking of putting some greenery on those little shelves. What do you think? Let me know down below if you think I should add a piece of greenery or some kind of floor to the uh, shelves on the wall. But overall, I think it's very clean and organized. That mirror, the trim on the mirror makes it look gorgeous. I really like that. It is too pretty. I, I, I'm really liking that. It doesn't make it look like the, the the boring mirror that it was before. But my next goal is to find another cabinet to put in the middle to make it a drawers or either get rid of that cabinet and get another one. But that's on down the line. But until then, let me know what you think of my bathroom reconstruction down below. You know I love reading your comments, and I'll see you in the next episode. If you want to see more, click the video here or the link below, and you'll be blessed.